And so what this ought to drive our minds to is an understanding of the last fact about this. It's sacramental. This is not a sacrament. We only have two sacraments, baptism and the Lord's Supper. But this has the same flavor, the same character as one of those sacraments. Sometimes the the criticism against uh, people like us is, well, how can you say that a little bit of bread and a little bit of wine or a little bit of water poured on the head gives the forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation? And the answer to that is, yeah, that is kind of ridiculous. (laughs) Right? Like putting the fingers in the ear and touching the tongue, that, that doesn't do anything. But Jesus' word does. And when Jesus' word is connected with physical things, we get a sacrament. When we baptize someone, we say, we baptize you into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The exact same words that Jesus spoke. When you receive the Lord's Supper, I say, take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The exact same words that Jesus spoke. Because when Jesus connects his words to physical things, you have a sacrament. So then think about this man. Why does Jesus operate like this with him? Because he he can't hear. (laughs) Jesus can't say to him, repent, believe the good news. The kingdom of heaven is near. He can't say any of that. And yet Jesus still wants to save this man. And so he, in a sense, sacramentally saves him. He touches him and speaks his word and the man is healed. Think for a second of a baby being baptized. Functionally, that baby is deaf and mute, right? It doesn't understand anything we say to it. It can't speak. And yet Jesus wants to save that baby. And so he takes a physical thing with his word and gives them status in the family. Who is this man? Deaf and mute, unable to save himself. But Jesus touches him with his word and saves him. And so as we read these stories, we ought to think of ourselves both in the shoes of the Syrophoenician woman and this man. By nature, we are deaf to God. We can't hear his word. Even if we hear the words, we don't understand them by nature. We can't give praise to him in our sinfulness. We, we are deserving of nothing, like dogs underneath the table. And yet when we are willing to say to Jesus, Amen, I agree with that, that is who I am by nature, Jesus then sacramentally by the power of his word saves us. He gives us that status of the family. 